What's going on YouTube today? We're gonna talk about that exfiltration and we're gonna start a series where we will go through all of the data exfiltration techniques demonstrating them practically and over virtual machines. So today's video is part of a room in TryHackMe. The room name is data exfiltration. In today's video guys, we will discuss task 4, how to exfiltrate data using TCP. But before we jump into challenges and doing CTF work, let's first understand the theory. So first, God, I have prepared you this board. We're going to first talk about the definition of that exfiltration, how it's done and the techniques. This will be the base video for all of the upcoming videos that will be about that exfiltration. All right. So what's that exfiltration? So basically guys, that exfiltration sits on the last stage of the cyber kill chain. So if you remember the cyber kill chain uh, where we have the recon and then we have the weaponization and then delivery of the payload. After the delivery, we exploit the target. And after exploitation, we install malware and installation. And lastly, we connect to our C2 server. And at the end, the last stage of the cyber kill chain is called actions on objectives. So, that exfiltration is performed as, or is performed in the last stage of the cyber kill chain. When I want to perform actions to um, carry over my objectives. So what do we do in that exfiltration? That exfiltration, as the name suggests, guys, it is just to exfiltrate data, to steal data from the compromised machine. So say you have here machine A, okay, and here we have machine B. So you are, here is the attacker, all right? And the attacker successfully compromised machine A, okay? So you now have access on machine A. What's going to happen here, guys, if you want to exfiltrate data, you will be moving all of the sensitive data, such as usernames, passwords, files, okay? You will move these sensitive information over to your machine. This process is called data exfiltration. So it's a process of taking unauthorized copy of sensitive data and moving it from the inside of a machine or an organization network to the outside. In this case, it's to the attacker machine here. So it's important to note that that exfiltration is a post compromise process as we demonstrated in the cyber kill chain. It comes at the very end without compromising the machine and taking or gaining access. You won't be able to perform that exfiltration, meaning you won't be able to copy over the targets data to your machine that is the how that's the definition of that exfiltration now let's talk about how it's done so basically how it's done first copying data we just copy data right or we use the c2 servers so basically when we connect to a machine using the c2 server such as um you may use netcat okay so you are sending and receiving commands from and to the machine say netcat here so in this case you're using c2 server to exfiltrate data and the last one is tunneling tunneling is done by creating tunnels such as ssh tunnels right tunneling is the most secure method of performing data exfiltration to evade security products okay now let's talk about techniques okay what are the techniques of data exfiltration meaning what are the protocols that we will use to exfiltrate data so as far as the techniques guys i'm going to draw this line here so we're going to talk about the techniques here the first thing we can exfiltrate data through tcp along with base 64 why do we do that so when we exfiltrate that over tcp the security products such as firewalls or um intrusion prevention systems it could be data loss protection systems it can have it can actually detect the activity why because tcp is not encrypted protocol so we have to do base 64 to make sure that our data is not human readable 
But this method isn't secure, by the way. If you know that the target network contains data loss prevention systems or firewalls, you better stay away from TCP with base 64 because it will stop the exfiltration right away. The next method will be SSH. And here we create tunnels. It's more secure than TCP with base 64. The last or the third one is with HTTPS. Also secure, but if the target network is running firewall with uh, proxy visibility over HTTPS traffic, um, you should stay away with it, from it. And fourth, we have ICMP. And lastly, we do it over DNS. Now, many attackers do this over DNS. Why? Because DNS, you know, firewalls and other secure products are configured to be less restrictive over for DNS traffic, right? Uh, you know, DNS is very essential. It's the backbone of the internet. So if the firewall or the secure product blocks um, unknown DNS traffic, problems will happen and the network will not work normally. So most firewalls and secure products are, con are configured to be least restrictive when it comes to DNS. That's why attackers prefer DNS. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to exfiltrate data using TCP, the first method. So this video will be about this. In the next upcoming videos, we will see how we can exfiltrate data using other protocols. Okay. All right, so now let's jump over to the machines and demonstrate that in action. That's the first machine and that's the next machine. So basically, I'm gonna start with this one. So we have two machines here. We have the victim and we have the attacker machine. So as you can see here, guys, I'm gonna just start from scratch so you know what I am doing. Close terminal, close terminal. Okay, let's open new terminal now. Make this bigger. And in here, we're going to connect to what's called the jump box. Okay, the jump box is our, you know, the we we're gonna consider it as the attacker machine in this case. So let's connect now to the jump box SSH GHM at 10 10 35 one eight. The password is try hack me. So right now we are connected to the jump box. We can open a new terminal here, guys. Or let's open a new tab, it will be much easier. Alright. Again, we're gonna make need to make this bigger. Control plus plus doesn't work in my keyboard, guys, so that's why I'm using the menu. All right, so here we will connect to the victim machine, the machine from which we will exfiltrate data. Before we do that, guys, this is the attacker machine, right? So in order to exfiltrate that over TCP, as I told you earlier, we would need to establish some sort of a C2 server because that exfiltration assumes that you have got access to the machine and you can send and receive commands. To do that, we're going to start a listener on the attacker machine on port 8080. And we will send the output, whatever output that comes to this listener, we're going to send it to the temp directory and name it task4 creds.data. Okay, now this is the attacker machine waiting for the data to come. Going back to the victim machine now, we're going to connect to the victim machine SSH victim one THM. We're going to need first to define the username. It's THM. THM at dot com. Okay. Yes. Permission denied. I think we have to do this from the jump box, right? From here. Okay, so we can go to jump box, and from here we can connect to SSH 
thm at victim one hm dot com. Yes, the password is try hack me. Okay, and we are connected. Let's do that. So I see we cannot make this bigger, right? So for some reason, nope. Okay, so this is the victim machine, guys, and here I have the attacker machine listening for instructions or listening for the uh, all of the traffic that will come to the attacker machine. Now, alternatively, I don't prefer to use this, guys. So I'm gonna close this one and then go back here. Alternatively, you can connect to that machine using SSH, THM at 10, 10, 35, 180. You can also connect with the victim machine guys using victim one here using the port 2022. The password is try hack me. And we are connected to victim one as you can see here guys. All right, so right now you have compromised the machine and you are ready to copy over the data so you have compromised victim one machine all right and you want to find out what you need to exfiltrate so we list and we have task four five six and nine so we are concerned with task four here so we're gonna cat we're gonna cd to task four so we have grids.txt cat grids.txt and these are credentials so these are sensitive data guys so what you want to do you want to exfiltrate this copy over this file to your um, attacker machine so we're going one directory back and to perform that we're going to connect to the listener we have curated here okay this represents the attacker machine where we are listening for traffic here we compromise the victim machine and we want to copy over the data to our attacker machine so we first we need to have the listener running okay and we go back and we start exfiltrating so first we're going to use the tar the tar command is used here guys to create an archive okay an archive file of the directory that we want to copy over which happens to be task 4 so tar let's see f dash task 4 okay i will create an archive of the directory called task 4 with all the contents inside it such as credits.txt and then i'm going to need to use base 64 okay so we pass the created tar file to the base64 command for converting that to base64 representation and then we do something extra guys we pass the result of the base64 command to create a backup copy of the file using dd and we use the representation or the encoding eb cdi so convert oh, yeah that's right eb C D I C, and then what we're going to do guys we're going to redirect or create redirection of the output of the dd command to uh, connect to the machine that we are listening here or the listener that we have so dev tcp the ip of the machine and the port is 8080 Let's see, what's the problem? DD, we have a problem in the command. Let's try this. EV, C, D, I, C. Connect. Good. So indeed we have size now on the data. Let's now decode the data. Okay, let's now enter the file. Okay, as you can see now we have successfully decoded the file and extracted the contents. So now what we do guys, we just get uh, task four slash grids and indeed guys we have received the contents of the sensitive file to the attacker machine so it was success we exfiltrated the data from the victim machine here okay 
to the attacker machine using the TCP socket. All right, so there is one question to answer in this task, guys. Let's go over this question. Exfiltration using TCP sockets rely on protocols, non-standard protocols. Let me tell you how I found it. It is written up here. This exfiltration type is easy to detect because we rely on non-standard protocols. So that was it, guys. In the next video, hopefully, we will do the upcoming tasks. And see you later.